Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is the next problem in my Sudoku problem series. Uh, this is an arrow problem, um, another one that's not too hard, um, uh, another one by Wu Chain Lin, um, and thank you for sending all the problems in, I really do like them. Uh, you'll get to see them over the next couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, the way arrows work is the digit placed in the arrow circle is the sum of all of the digits placed along the length of the arrow. Um, and of course, the goal on this one is to place the digits in the cells marked with X's. So there's a link to this below if you uh, need a grid to solve it. Um, otherwise, I'm going to give you a few seconds where you can pause the video and then I'll be back to explain how this one works. Okay, so with this one, basically what you want to look at is what are minimum cells that can go into, uh, or minimum digits that can go into cells. So the minimum you can put into three cells in the same box is one, two, and three. So if we were to pencil mark this with one, two, and three, the minimum there we have is a total of six. This is two cells in the same box. The minimum of those is one and two. So this has a minimum of six. This has a minimum of three. If you add those together, you get nine, which is the maximum Sudoku digit. So this becomes a nine, but we've got a one, two pair looking at that. So it cannot be a one or a two. So that becomes a three. And we are made able to very, very quickly lock in that this has to be a three and this has to be a nine with an arrow shape like that. Very, very cool little problem. I've not seen arrows done this way before, even in a puzzle, to the best of my knowledge. So I really like this one. Um, it's very cool, and I wouldn't be surprised if someone does something like this as a break into an arrow puzzle. Very cool. Uh, thank you, uh, Wuchan, for sending this one in. Um, I hope everyone is enjoying the series, and as always, good luck with your solving. 